Hey guys, and welcome to Watch Dogs Legion. We have a little bit more gameplay to show you. Literally the last bit of gameplay I have. <laughs> so there's no more. Uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for the full game. But we are going to be taking down Suffolk. We're going to be liberating a whole borough of London today in the game. Oh yes. So first we need to weaken it before we take control. That is basically what we're doing now. So that was the end of my free run game. If you guys watched that, I basically consuming. went on a tour so, of London. There's no commentary. I just, that just works around your new schedule. <laughs> Lots of people will pay well to have their sensitive packages handled with care. And some will even pay you for deliveries. Ha ha. We are strong. Together we are strong. Please just listen. So you can be a glorified delivery man or delivery woman in Watch Dogs Legion if you want to do that. It's up to you. Distract. So basically, we want to enter this facility and destroy the CTOS panel, basically. Destroy it, shoot it, explode it, do whatever you want, just get rid of it. Oh, but as you can tell, it's currently controlled by Albion, who are the bad guys trying to take control of London. Not going to happen under my watch, I'm afraid. Whoopsie. Nicely done. Ooh. That was a good old snap of the neck there. So on the map you'll see a bar, and the bar basically gets weaker and weaker, and eventually you can liberate it. Ouch. <laughs> what was that person doing in the background? What are you doing? Oh. oh man, I don't know why I did that. Goodbye stealth. There's the panel though. All I'm going to destroy that and get out of here. Destroy it. Done. I'm leaving. Just Albion equipment that they need desperately. And we just shot it. Yes. Defiance has increased. Great. Suffolk, we are coming for you. You see little sort of red circle right emblems on the map. Bit more of that, this barrel will certainly combust. No? Nothing on that? Well, I guess it's back to knock jokes then. Yeah, please stop joking. It's not funny. Maxley's probably my the highlight in terms of characters for me, even though he's an AI. Also, I guess the random characters we find sometimes they don't sound they don't sound great sometimes. But in terms of the world and being watchdogs again, it was pretty cool. Just some of the dialogue is a bit yeah. I'm sure you guys agree. I don't know. Don't want to be too critical because I am still looking forward to this game. Hundred percent. Is this the facility? Yeah. yeah, basically all I done was jumped in a cargo drone. And uh yeah. There why not? <laughs> we done. Go. A little bit Perfect. Of, a little bit cheating, I guess, but why not? There we go. Now there's oh, a statement. Yeah. The whole borough of Southwark will see this you and know someone is sticking it to Albion. I like the direction you took with this one. Thank you, Bagley. Honestly, this feels like London. It's, it's mad. Mad. So this is the last objective. This will create such a defiance in Suffolk that we can fly back. We can take control. Dead set can take control. It's a pretty big building. <laughs> oh, damn. It's probably going to be heavily guarded. I just love London in this game. It's so cool. This area is one of the highlights for sure. I'm trying to find like, maybe a back entrance or I refuse to engage something. With this. But it does seem pretty well guarded to be honest. I love you can just recruit anyone. It's mad. The only issue with that, like I said already, the dialogue can be a little bit all over the place. They've got so many voices, it's just gonna happen. Oh. It's going in for a punch fight. <laughs> Why not? At least we're in, though. In a fairly stealthy ish fashion. Sort of. Yeah, definitely one of those games where it wasn't really on my radar. I wasn't particularly bothered until I played it. And now I won it. 
I would love this game to come out next week. <laughs> It'd be perfect. It'd be perfect. I'll try and work out how to get rid of that sensor by the door. Ah, there we go. Disabled! Now we can go in. Think. Oh, take that off, oh, you're blocking. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I'm getting hit pretty hard here. Oh, there we go. Good old disrupts. That's when hacking is essential. Is that one down? That's one down. I just like back it off. Like, okay, okay, chill. Back into it. Coming in. Coming in. Oh, what a dodge. I'm hoping there's like a maybe like a kung, kung fu expert or karate expert you can recruit. Just really good at fighting. I've seen the construction workers with their big win winches, winches and just hitting people with it. The most violent way possible. But why not a bit of kung fu? I would love that. Some unique moves. I swear I heard a rumor they were going to put YouTubers in the game, but I don't think that's actually happened. As far as I know. Because that was complete utter rumor. Take down! PewDiePie! <laughs> Imagine this recruiting it. All he does is commentary on YouTube. Great. Might be good for propaganda, actually. Potentially. I don't know. <laughs> be mad. Oh, is that a drone? <coughs> yep. Take you out. Yeah, the the current tracked objective in, in the top left-hand corner, just ignore that. That's just a completely random recruit. I do have some some recruitment gameplay that I could show you if you guys really want to see a bit more, but there's not much to go on, to be honest. But yeah, I've got a tiny bit more if you guys want to see that. I recruit a, a football fan, but I don't actually use him. I literally just recruit him and go, you've, you've joined! Yay! But he's dressed up as a West Ham fan, so... East London, West Ham. East London soccer team. <laughs> Where's the objective? Definitely want to try and work on my stealth a bit. When I play the full game, I'm sure I'll have a more stealth focused character, maybe. I just know I'm going to put so many hours into this game. <laughs> it's going to be mad. So, this is their private surveillance network. We're going to disrupt it, as you can see there. Is a current opportunity? Oh, yes. Hack. Done. Oh, it's a flight. I forgot about this. We actually go into a cockpit. What is this? We've just hijacked the feed from an Albion prison cockpit. flight. Seems these poor it. sods are being renditioned out the country for maybe it's extreme insubordination. Why? I know, right? Why not just fire them? All I can tell you is that these people are off to summer school in the Seychelles for re-education. This is Connor 12. George has full control of the plane. Connor 12, stand by. We're getting some weird readings with your onboard data. Re-education. Beeps. Can we hack that? Oh, we can unload it. Right, here we are. These prisoners were detained for attempting to here. reveal operations intelligence to external agents. Camp? Whistleblowers. Seems Perhaps they even tried to contact DedSec. Luckily, you can reroute the plane. Good idea, Bagley. Rerouting plane. Let's do it. <laughs> Come back to Papa. Oopsie. Going back to London. You never know, that might open up some. Uh, Plane should be landing in a few hours. I contacted the local authorities who are less than pleased with Albion. Seems they okay. think of human rights Good as rights and not legal obstacles. These Albion defectors will be welcome. Thank you, Bagley. Oh, hi. Are you with. Oh, how do I put this? I recently reached out to some people who. 
Fuck. This is impossible. Take a deep breath. I'm with DedSec. Shite. That's a relief. Can't be too careful, right? With them Albion wankers. But you... I don't know if you understand how much people appreciate what you've done in Southwark. Thank you. We'll get this. I've done a little bit of hacking myself, right? Real quiet. Don't dig too deep where they might have caught on, but guess what I found? Albion's Global Information Centre is right here in London. Global! You understand? Everything's run out of there. Coordinated, like, operations, tactical, whatever. Even finances. The sheer amount of data is... The server banks needed to manage all this shite are huge. Right. So we mess with their computer a little, and then all of Albion's international operations get disrupted? Impressive. Where to? Christ, can't believe this is actually happening. Okay, it's all in Nexus Tower. Do this, and it'll really rally the Borough DedSec. Oh, I'll do it. This is a Don't huge opportunity that. to really stick it I'm to Albion. Not just here, but everywhere they operate. This borough everywhere they're stomping on human fall. rights. The server floor is accessed by elevator. And seeing how this is pretty much Albion's global war room, expect heavy security. Yeah, it was pretty heavy. Code three. Yeah. Mm. Not gonna Closest lie, it was pretty insane. <laughs> Stealth would have been almost impossible? I don't know. Probably depends on your character. Also, I've heard, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. But permadeath is actually available in the game on harder difficulties. So a character could potentially just die. I'm sort of tempted to go for that. I don't know why, because pr I'm probably not the best, but that added tension, I love that in the second day, where if you're attached to a character and they die, it's just so dramatic. And it makes the combat a little bit more tense as well. Yeah, I'm quite tempted. I'm still gonna have like hitman characters that can go in, do a gunfight. If they die, they die. Like you just recruit somebody else. And that is why I'm not an officer or a leader. <laughs> Find someone else is fine. So the elevator's behind some security doors. This drops the security. That little hack there. So that's good. Positive news. So we go back upstairs. And we can now go into the elevator. Oh yes. And pretty much all my characters had the same mask. I think so. I'm pretty sure I could have gone to the store, so it's completely my fault. It is really difficult in these sort of sessions where you get to play the game for a couple of hours and there's so much to do. It's like, oh. <laughs> you sort of rush a bit as well, which is not, it's not the best, is it? Really intrigued to see like these loading times with next gen. Are they going to be gone completely, or is it going to be like a split second? Or intriguing for sure. And no human zone. How refreshing! So clean, so organised, so peaceful. They follow strict environmental controls in the server silos. Luckily, you can take control over the maintenance drones. That's the easiest to way to through. completely scramble their information center would be to cause a surge in the power core. So what do we do? They use high capacity battery banks to ensure backup power. If you can find one, simply drop it in the core and that'll do it. I'll have a look. So this drone is quite sensitive. That's his health bar. And I actually found this quite tricky. Um, I don't include all of it because it was a, a long section of gameplay and I don't want to like, go in my limit. In terms of what I can show you, but yeah, I struggled. I was hitting every every ceiling, every window, every like that. <laughs> Not the best. I'm already a bit lost. Hence, I cut a lot of this out. You have to enter different silos. You eventually go more underground. You're basically trying to get this this battery to drop into that hole and to take control of the borough once and for all. Obviously, once you get the full game, every borough will need to be taken over at some point, I would imagine. It's lost so much health there. Damn you, game. <laughs> why? Why, why, why? Watch it. Did you hear that? Now there's some juicy intel. And there is the battery that we need. It goes underneath the drone. That's it. 
Got Drop it. this battery back in the core and Albion Logistics. Done. Tactical assessment, kaput. Whatever operational algorithms they rely on, all gone. Get to it. This is a big win. A big win for London. A big win for Dead Set. I was trying to find a shortcut, but it didn't exist. I had to go all the way back. It was terrifying. But we made it. Let's drop it perfectly in the middle. Like Star Wars. Boom. Done. Yes. There goes Albion's global information center. <laughs> How about we let the people of Southwark know? I have an idea. Do you? What are you going to do? I'm intrigued. Show me the money! Why did I not edit this out? I have no idea. Enjoy the loading screen. <laughs> I apologize. Suffolk is now out. Officially. Oh yeah. We control the shards! Stand firm and united. Not a kid. Woo! It's now officially ours. Yes. Reminds me a little bit of um, Division, that bit. Everyone must have seen this. The borough will get inspired. People will mobilize. This is good. Add this to everything else you've done in Southwark. The people are going to back you, dead sec. So am I. You can call on me if you think I can be of help. Anytime. Cheers. You may have to make good on your promise someday. We'll be in touch. Yeah, you fucking know it. The news that Albion's Global Operations Center is out of commission is bound to get people thinking that things are on the outs for Albion. You did well. Thank you. Oh, got a wardrobe item and ETO points. Barra is defiant against Albion. Oh, yes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my... Oh, is that like a new operative as well? Interesting. Yeah, if you guys want me to do more Watch Dogs when it comes out or near release, let me know. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this little mini-series. I may be able to find some more gameplay if you guys desperately want me to try and find some more. But uh, that's the main sort of parts I've shown you, really. And yeah, I can't wait. See you guys soon. Bye-byes.